Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is a how-to video on how to make your follow the light strand. So you're gonna open up your kit. You should have some 6-0 transparent cantaloupe or orange line beads with a luster coating. You should have some white uh, beads, 6 with black stripes. This is a polished bronze, and these are 8 Next, you have polished bronze in 11 You have a matte black in 4 O's. These are four O's. And you have a sage green in six O's. Thread, measuring tape, and you should have a curved needle. Alright, so that's everything we have right there in front of us. Make sure you have everything you need so you don't have to stop and grab anything. This thread, this example thread, we're gonna make 40 inches. So let's get our measuring tape out. Stretch that out. If you can, tape it to your surface. Always recommend taping it so it doesn't move. I'm gonna tape this one so I can have it nice and stretched out. All right, so you wanna take your thread and you want to Put this at the one inch mark, and you want to measure 12 inches. So that's what we're going to do. Going to measure 12 inches. And then we're going to measure 40 inches. So from here, from here to here is 12 inches. That 12 inch mark, we wanna put at the one inch um, marker, and then we're gonna measure our 40 inches. So it's 12 inches plus 40 inches. Okay, so 40 inches plus 12 inches. And then we're gonna double that. So this was our 40 inch mark, we're gonna double the 40 inches plus the 12 inches. So essentially it's 12 plus, it's a 24 plus 80 inches. We're gonna double everything. First you're gonna measure 12 inches and then 40 inches, and then you're gonna double that, and then you're gonna cut it. Now the 40 inches was just a number that I came up with for the sake of the video. You can, whatever your uh, measurements are, just do 12 plus whatever those measurements are. So if you're 60 inches, do 60 inches plus 12 times two, okay? So take our needle and one end of the thread. Put that through. One end and pull that needle to the middle that. So now you can take one of your beads take one of your beads one of your 6-0 size beads put that on the end pull 
pull that through. Like that. Got that? Tie a knot, just a regular basic knot. But you want the bead, you want the bead to be in the knot. You don't want the knot to be in front or behind the bead. You want the bead to be in the knot. And then you wanna do that, repeat that three or four times. Then we want to do a slip knot. So just to take a look at the bead, you can see. So then we want to do our slip knot. So with the slip knot, hold the bead with your left hand. Bring your fingers up, two or three fingers, depending on how thick your fingers are. Okay? We want to wrap that around and pinch it. And then take your fingers out. Pull that back again and pull a little bit through, grab it, tighten that knot. It's almost like if you have um, an extension cord that you're trying to wrap up or if, you if you're familiar with wearing a robe and you tie your robe without making a knot or without making a bow. Um, another way that you can make a slip knot is if you just make a loop like this and you tie a knot with the loop. This, this way is a little bit more challenging. This isn't the way I recommend it, but for those of you who cannot get that slip knot down, you can tie a loop like so, and then tie that loop in a knot. I don't recommend this way, but I have been told that this way works for some. So, you kind of get the same result, but again, I don't recommend it. Um, I recommend doing it this way. I'll show you again. You might want to pause and repeat this portion of the video. Okay, we want to make sure that the tail is not too big. So if I measured this from the knot to the bead, we got about one and a half inches. We want to make sure that loop is not too big either, okay? Next, we wanna make sure our needle is in the middle. The way we do that is starting at the end, we just pinch and drag the needle, making sure the needle is in the middle of the thread, like that. So now let's pour our beads in. Spread those around. You can do this strand without a bead spinner. You can do it by hand also. You don't need a bead spinner, but I do find with this particular design, a bead spinner is easier. You can also take out your accent beads and then pour them. You can get this type of, this is a felt Mat. It's the material is felt, F-E-L-T. So if you want to get something to put your beads onto instead of into, you can definitely do a felt mat. And I just spread them out. Okay, 
Next, you wanna hold your needle, put it in the bead spinner and spin. The first pattern, the first part of the, of the strand design is just simply getting a full needle's length of beads onto the needle. So I don't measure or count the beads exactly. So that's a full needle's length. And if you're having difficulty getting the beads on and you're using a fresh needle, kind of uh, loosen the curve of that needle just by pinching and running your fingers along the spine of it. And it goes from a hard, hard curve to more of a soft curve. That should help. So after you did a full needle, a full needle's length, we want to start with the first pattern design, which is two of your 11-0 polished bronze beads. And then we're going to do an alternating pattern of the stripe white with one 11-0 bead in between. And we're gonna do that five times. So we want five striped beads. And in between each striped bead, we wanna sandwich it with an 11-0 polished bronze bead. Oh, whoops, I put two on. If you make a mistake, it's completely your choice. If you wanna just roll with it, or if you want to um, go back and fix it. Usually if it's something that I, I notice right away, I'll go back and fix it. Otherwise, I leave it if I don't notice it in time. I just figure, hey, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so we now have five. Next, we wanna do end that five pattern with two uh, 11 O beads. Two 11 O. That's what you should have. Next, we wanna go into our next part of the, port of the pattern. And that's three of these beautiful transparent cantaloupe beads. And then we wanna do two more 11 O's. Oops. All right, this is what we have now. Next, since we are gonna, our next bead is the um, the eight o, the uh, four o's. Let's move those over so y'all can see. Let's move this whole thing over. These are next, so these are bigger. The holes are really big, and they'll over they'll overshadow the eleven o's that you have here. So after you do your pattern of two 11 O's, three orange beads, and then two 11 O's, we want to do two 8 O's. And this acts as the border for the 4 O black beads. And then we're going to do four with a 8 O bronze, polished bronze in between. Now these numbers are significant to me um, but if you have a different idea of what kind of numbers you would like for each portion of the pattern um, I did give you extra beads so you could um, be creative but my favorite numbers are three five and eight so I have three five which make eight and then four, which is goes into eight two times. So that is the significance of 
that to me. So if you have different ideas for numbers, by all means, uh, make this strand personally your own. So we did this pattern and then we started a new pattern with the 280, the four, um, four O's with the eight O's in between. And we ended it with the two eight O's. And then we're gonna, we're gonna finish it the way we started it. So since we did two 11 O's here, we're gonna do two 11 O's here. And then we're just gonna do that pattern again, going the reverse direction. That means three orange. Right? And then we have the two 11 O's. These 11 O's are very tiny, so if you don't have a mat, get any type of cloth or fabric to help catch the bead should it slip from your fingers. All right, so next is going to be the pattern alternating with the stripe beads. One. Double check, make sure. Yep. And we finish this pattern off with two 11 beads, just as we started. So we get our two 11 polished bronze. started it the way we ended it. Next, we continue with another needle length of the sage green. And it's much easier to get the beads on when you straighten out that needle. the pattern. Alright, so we want to, as we get near the end of the strand, um, we want to make sure we leave six inches of thread and that's what those original 12 inches were for in the beginning we have about six inches of thread here that doesn't have any beads on there and so when you're nearing the end you want to make sure you don't you have at least six inches of thread that has no beads on it so the way I check this is I take the end and I put it at let's say for example 26 right and then I measure backwards to 20 okay so that's six inches so that tells me from here to here is where I need to finish so as you can see I've done my pattern and I did my last pattern now that I've done my last pattern, I just need to do 
this amount of the sage green beads. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna bring my spinner over. It's about that amount. Check, put this at 26. Yeah, so we're right there between 26 and 20, that's six inches. So this is how we end it. Take one of your 6O beads, put it on, and then we wanna remove the needle. So the way we do that is we loosen it, pull, we pull the thread towards the center of the needle and then we move it out the way. Okay, then right where that needle was, take your cutters or scissors. Like that. All right, so now that we got that out the way, take your bead, this is called an anchor bead, by the way. Take your anchor bead, pull it to the end. So we're gonna finish this the same way we started it. And we want to tie a knot around that bead. Tie a knot around that bead. Then we wanna do our slip knot. So the way I taught you, you have this, wrap it around. Pull your fingers out, pull the thread through, close it. I'll show you that one more time. So we're going to hold on to our anchor bead, wrap it around, pinch, slide those fingers out, and then you want to reach through the loop, pull some thread through, and then tighten that loop like that. There you have it. You have completed Follow the Light. I hope you enjoyed the how-to video.